Traditionally, applications are built using three-tier architecture, containing a website, a middleware, and a database. As your customer base grows, the application and data storage layer of this architecture becomes expensive and difficult to manage. To mitigate this, the microservices architecture approach, coupled with Oracle's autonomous database, can be used to keep your applications running smoothly and with minimal downtime. In addition, cloud and container native development tools can be leveraged to keep your development cycle more efficient and agile. Microservices architecture has its benefits. However, without using the right tools, it can be very cumbersome to implement. Today, we're going to talk about the Oracle tools that enable microservices and how Oracle's autonomous database can help with the difficulty of scaling data storage. You can apply these technologies to new projects or existing applications to reduce management costs or speed up development time. We'll be covering an example of an e-commerce web application that is using microservices architecture and Oracle's autonomous transaction processing database, ATP. We'll demonstrate Oracle technologies that you can utilize for microservices and DevOps process. Lastly, we'll also show a Cyber Monday scenario where there's a peak load on a retailer's website and how easy it is to scale up ATP on the go without any downtime to accept more connections. In this demo, we'll be using a startup clothing store for our use case. Here's their e-commerce website. It leverages a modern JavaScript framework, AngularJS for the front-end development, and a Node.js runtime to serve the application. The website itself is composed of several microservices that allows a user to log in, access recommended items, search for items, and check out orders. Let's take a look at the architecture for this web application. There are three microservices that support this website. We also have an API gateway set up so that it can consolidate all the endpoints in one place for the front end to consume. Since the services are decoupled and loosely integrated, it's easy to add other components into the mix. For instance, if the company decides to have a mobile interface, they can simply add another API gateway and a mobile application and consume the same set of microservices without affecting the existing website. On the data storage layer, with the power of autonomous database, we can easily provision a new database if new features need to be developed and scale any of the existing ones to accommodate any workloads. From a developer point of view, Autonomous Database is a plug-and-play data storage solution for any application. In our example here, activities such as browsing the product catalog and automatically suggesting products to the customer are running in our Autonomous Transaction Processing Database due to their high workload potential. To take a look at how this application is developed, the first thing we'll need to do is provision the infrastructure. We'll need to provision a managed Kubernetes cluster and Autonomous Database using Terraform. Here is a snapshot of the Terraform script. This script will provision the necessary compute and network resources, as well as the Kubernetes Management Console. It will also provision an instance of the database and set up the necessary credentials to log into the instance. Within minutes, both the Kubernetes cluster and the database are up and running. To help orchestrate the DevOps process for these many microservices, we'll be leveraging Oracle's Developer Cloud Service, or DevCS, for the build pipeline. We're using DevCS as a code repository for all the applications. Once the code is checked in, we have set up the build pipeline to automatically package the code into the Docker container. This will build the container and push it to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Private Image Repository, OCIR. Then the next build process will be triggered and the container will be automatically deployed to the Kubernetes cluster. OK, now you have seen how the process is set up. Let's take a look at one scenario that happens to every e-commerce website. It is Cyber Monday and the site is getting hit with heavy traffic. There are a lot of customers browsing items and trying to check out before the deals are gone. On our ATP monitoring console, the CPU utilization is at 100% at this time due to heavy traffic. With the power of a scaling autonomous database, we're going to do that through the console and accommodate this load. After about five minutes, your ATP is now scaled up, and CPU utilization went back to somewhat a normal load. We can continuously monitor the CPU usage and scale it back down once we think the traffic has slowed down to save on cost. In this demo, you have learned about the benefits of applying microservices architecture to your applications, the Oracle technologies that can help ease the process, 
and how autonomous database can further enhance the power of this architecture. By leveraging these technologies, you can make the development lifecycle more agile and drastically reduce the management costs for your infrastructure.